behind my cyber angels. <clears throat> I won't go into the introduction, but I'm sure the cyber mom. So I wish you good night or good morning. And I'm going to start off with Capricorn. And before I go to bed, this is my little gift to you for tomorrow. This is your daily card for the 25th. And Capricorn, you have the child. Be more playful today. You might be starting a new course or you might be learning something in a playful way as well. So you might find out you're pregnant or you might be giving birth or hear of somebody giving birth. Now your angel card is the angel of knowledge and how apt is that? Because this card says that you might start a new study and the angel of knowledge will guide you to learn in a playful way and to gather your knowledge so that you can remember it. It's a beautiful picture so that is your angel for tomorrow and tonight. He will make sure that you are peacefully sleeping so that you are rejuvenated in the morning so that you can learn new things and gather the knowledge. Then we go on to Aquarius. Aquarius, don't make issues out of nothing. This is the mountain. Don't make problems or don't see problems where there are none. You don't have to climb the mountain. You can walk its path. And remember, when you get to the top of the mountain, you'll have to descend the mountain. So just take your time and keep your balance. That is the message for you on 25th of February. And you've got the angel bullying prevention angel. So don't worry, don't make problems, then you won't get bullied. And if somebody bullies you, try to walk away. If you can't, report it to somebody so that you will get assistance so they can stop their bullying and will be reprimanded. So have the courage, ask your angel, the bullying prevention angel, so that you can stay in balance. Now we're going to Pisces. And Pisces, wow, talking about fish. Well, you've got the fish. You can work well in groups, but you must know your boundaries and let others know your boundaries. A no is a no, definitely. Luck is on your side and you have luck at work or within your business. Your angel is the angel of families. Okay, there might be somebody in the family with this card that will try to test your boundaries. Mum, can you do this? Mum, can you do that? Just say no and maintain the balance and be happy. Happy families. So you've got the angel of families and again, balance, new beginnings. There might be an extension in the family because you can see that she's expecting. So that might, you might find out that you're pregnant or somebody in the family is going to give birth. There might be an, uh, an expansion. It doesn't have to be a baby. It could also be a dog or a cat or a bird. Now we're going to Aries and Aries. You've got a definite yes for the 25th of February. You are coming home to a safe haven. Your boat is coming in and you're staying there as you feel safe. Your angel for the 25th is the angel of travel. And actually, when I had that, you might be traveling by boat. Wow. And you've got the angel of travel telling you that you might be traveling. This could be a short journey or a long journey, a journey by car or boat or on foot. But the angel of travel will be with you to safeguard you on your journey. Now we're going on to Taurus. 
Taurus, you might have disagreements or arguments. You've got the clouds. Don't worry, it is short-lived because the sun is breaking through. Don't give any anybody any am, ammunition to um, fight with you or disagree with you. You've got the angel of relationships. The angel of relationships. There you go. Number 29. There might be somebody that does not want to converse, to communicate, does not want to listen. Well, well, just walk away. And don't, like I said, don't give anybody ammunition to um, argue with you, okay? Come back at a later time and try again. Now we're going to Gemini. Gemini, you have the house. Don't isolate yourself. Go out there and mingle. Get to know new people. I know the house keeps you warm and protected and safe but you need to go outside and get to know new people or you might be doing something in the house let's see what the angel is saying and you've got the angel of clear audience and clear audience means look she's whispering something in your ear you might hear something today that is of use to you and you've got number 10, a new beginning for you. Cancer. Cancer, you've got the bear. And the bear means that you've got luck on your side. You can stand your ground. You will not be moved. Like the bear, he's large and strong. He stands with four feet on the ground. Somebody might be jealous, so be forewarned. And you've got the angel of Clarecensius. And you've got the angel number, number 11. Oh, sorry, I can't. Sorry. Clarecensius means that listen to your intuition. And number 11. And so you might be feeling something. You might feel an energy that somebody is jealous about you. Okay, confront them or don't take any notice. All is not well. It is not what it seems. Leo, you have the letters. You will be receiving news. This could be official news, official documents. But you will be receiving news and the angel you have for the 25th leo is the angel of clear cognizance and that is also feeling and seeing and that is number 12 so that is a number three which is creativity you are protected. There is an angel above you and behind you covering your back. So you might be sensitive today, but listen to your intuition. Virgo, you've got the key in your own hand. So you can close the doors to negativity or you can open doors to positivity. It is also advisable to open up your heart and your solar plex. And you've got the Angel of Manifestation, number 34. There you go, sorry. Number 34, Angel of Manifestation. And look at this. Try to visualize and man uh, manifest what you wish. And it will come to you. If you can't do that, make a visionary board. Libra, you've got the snake. Something is not what it seems. Watch out for slithery people. There is a snake in the grass. Don't sign any contracts until the, after the 14th of March. Mercury is retrograde. 
and if you have to look at the small print and get it checked over you've got the angel of harmony six you are in balance angel of harmony 24 becomes a six so you're in balance look at her standing there on the cliff she is balancing Okay, we're going to Scorpio, and Scorpio, you've got a new beginning. You have the coffin, the coffin. You're in a transformational period. You're leaving a face behind, and you're going into a new face. And you've got the angel of parking. And you've got six, so you're back in balance, parking. You're going somewhere and you're staying there. You've decided where you want to go. You are in balance. This could be a new job, a new home, and you feel safe and balanced there. Sagittarius, you've got the moon. There might be things that you don't know. Your intuition or your um, psychic, all, all that, um, uh, your spirituality, your faith might be tested and very sensitive, especially now. In the Mercury retrograde and with the upcoming full moon, there are things you don't know, so you need more information, but the moon is also in a spotlight, so you are in the spotlight. So, somebody has seen you and you might get an offer of something. Could be from a Pisces. It also shines light on your path. You're on the right path. But listen to your intuition. You've got the angel of good news, number 14. That's a five. So you're not in balance, but you will be getting in balance because like this, it looks like ships coming in. Yes, it is ships just there. So your ship is coming in. You're going to get good news. Oh, you might even be going on holiday. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, I hope you've liked this card for the day, for the 25th of February. Sleep well, God bless, and wake up tight and bright. Ciao, ciao. Don't let the big bugs bite. The angels are with you. Please share and like and give us the thumbs up.